average bowler practices the prescribed form that makes for good bowling. And when he makes a strike, he's a happy cookie. Ah, but no average bowler is Andy Verapapa. No, indeed. He's the champ. He's also the greatest bowling trickster of all time. Andy likes to make strikes the hard way. See what I mean? When it comes to trick shots on bowling alleys, there's nobody like the mighty Verapapa. Ambidextrous Andy, they calls him. And what's more, he doesn't always depend on his hands to make a shot. Sometimes Andy becomes lazy and uses a foot. From where I sit, it looks like he's going to flop on this one. Seems like that ball is heading for the gutter. Uh-oh, am I wrong? Look at the curve he's put on that thing. Nice going, Mr. Verapapa. It's all so simple for Andy. Four pins, four balls, four shots without a miss, maybe. Well, let's see. One down. Two down. Three down. Andy, don't miss now. So well, Bob. And now he'll reverse the order of things by making his spare with the first ball and his first shot with the second ball. Confusing? Well, look. That was the second ball. And this is the spare by the first ball. It's easy. Try it sometime when you have a lot of time. And now some billiard technique on a bowling alley. The first ball, a slow one, takes this course. The second ball is fast and hits the first ball here. This causes the balls to carry them off the gutters, hitting each pin like this. Well, anyway, the man says it can do it. The first ball travels as slow as a snail at another snail's funeral. The second ball will have to smack it at exactly the right spot on the alley. Watch. Yes, sir. Next, a Vera Papa Pipperoo, in which Handy Andy adds some fancy footwork just to make things more complicated. Two more balls rolled by hand will cross each other's path. Well, let's see. That's it. Good going, guy. Here's a neat trick. To down all five pins, the ball must travel like this. Can Andy do it? Well, he'll try anything. One, two, three, four. And now the number seven pin, maybe. He does it. And he can do it again and again and again. Well, again anyway. Here, the hero of Hempstead will knock this pin down, roll the ball between two hurricane lamps, and curve over to pick off the number seven pin. Not too much clearance here either. P.S. They're his wife's favorite lamps. Real crystal. But then, Mama Vera Papa needn't worry. Papa Vera Papa hasn't popped one yet. Now, between the lamps, Good, Mama Vera Papa is breathing easier, but Papa Vera Papa isn't. He still must hit that pin. And so, all is peace and joy in the Vera Papa family, but not for long. Look, first he'll pick off this pin, then deflect the ball off the second pin, sending it between the lamps, and finally, pop off the pin way over here. Well, here we go. What a shot, fella. And here, as his wife closes her eyes, we'll try it once again for the slow motion camera. And now you'll see the ball go between those lamps. We hope. Yo, Mrs. B, all is well. And there you are, customers. Vera Papa the Perfectionist. Now Andy will roll two balls between these lamps. The balls will then cross paths between these lamps, then pass between these lamps, 
and finally pick off both pins. Yep, Andy's wife makes a hobby of collecting those crystal lamps. But then, they're as safe as if they were in a locked cabinet, it says here. The balls go between the first lamps. Then they cross paths as they pass between the next lamps. Then, they clear the final set. Then one pin. And the other. And there you are, folks. Just another easy way to make a living. And now, Andy will roll a ball down the alley and smack this ball a glancing blow so that each ball will carry him into a gutter without even scratching a lamp. Yup, and what's more, one of the balls will come back on the alley and knock down ten pins. Those lamps right behind that stationary ball, if he doesn't sock that ball just right, oh, there'll be bad news tonight for Andy. Good, that is, so far. There's still a strike to be made, remember? A strike, ten pins, that is. Do you think he can do it? Yeah, what a way to make a strike. That guy never misses. Well, just to prove that he never misses, and so you can see this trick shot in normal speed, he'll do it again. Smelling salts, please, for Mama Burra Papa. That night, with his wife recovering at home, Andy insists on one more lamp trick to end all lamp tricks. He'll roll a ball down the alley and hit this ball, knocking it into the left gutter, and the other ball into the right gutter, without touching a lamp, mind you. Then both balls will bounce out of the gutters and meet here, causing them to pick off the two pins. Impossible? Well, watch carefully. Mm, he actually did it. In my last movie featuring the peerless Vera Papa, his greatest trick shot went like this. It was a three-pin, three-alley shot that gave millions of bowlers goose pimples. Now, Andy's out to top that trick. Look at this. He'll roll the ball down here and try to hit the two front pins so they'll hurtle over to pick off these pins. Meanwhile, the ball will continue down the center alley to make a strike. Well, Andy can dream, can't he? A 14-pin three-alley shot. Missed. Andy, maybe this is impossible. Let's forget the whole thing. Oh, stubborn, eh? Well, Bob, our movie is near the end. So this is positively your very last chance. It looks good. It is good. What bowling? What control? What time is it? I gotta go. Well, goodbye now. Uh -huh.